everyone, this is Lulu from As You Wish Pottery and today we will be painting this lovely platter using our spool barrel technique. As always, here's our supply list. Feel free to pause this section and take notes as we will begin shortly. Let's get started. Use tracing paper to create a template for the love and the heart that will go in the center of the platter. And with a marker, go ahead and secure it onto the center of the piece. Use the Spolvero powder, the pouncer, and the Spolvero design to set the design inside the heart. Paste the sticky side of the contact paper heart in the center of the sketched heart. With a fan brush, paint three coats of Simply Cinnamon around the heart. We will be painting dots later on on the rim, so do not worry about painting it right now. Remove the contact paper with a pin or the back side of a fan brush. With a Simply Cinnamon Fun Writer, go over the Spolvero design. Avoid the letters as we will fill them in later. Work around the platter and the letters and let it dry before going on to the section next to it and things like that. That way you don't put your hand right where you just painted. A tip for the fun writer, I highly suggest that you squeeze until you feel comfortable with the amount of paint that is coming out. Just keep in mind that the less you squeeze, the thinner your lines will be and the more you squeeze, the thicker your lines will be. Here I was looking for a medium thickness so I kind of squeezed and I guided the paint as I went along. That way nothing was too fat or too skinny either, okay? This is the perfect time to uh, practice with the fun writer and to kind of figure out how much pressure does it need and things like that. Um, how can you use it to your advantage? I also like to use the pottery to my advantage so I move it around so that way I can place my hand firmly on the platter and then move around from there. After the heart stencil has been filled in with the Spolvera pattern, go ahead and use the Fun Writer to fill in the letters. If you feel more comfortable using a brush, I would highly suggest you use the long liner brush for this section as it's the best brush for those small spaces and the big spaces as well. Here's a quick speed up of what we just did. Um, it's pretty much just filling in the letters with the Fun Writer, making sure that all the spots are covered in paint. Now with Q-tips, and Simply Cinnamon, paint the edge of the rim where the color ends and the bisque begins. Lastly, use a round sponge to paint the rim with the same color. I highly suggest that you dab off any excess paint so that way it doesn't blob over in the rim and so it's a neat, neat and clean edge as you go along. And here we have a very lovely platter. Here's the unfinished product and the finished piece. Thanks for painting!